Now I'm so excited to show you why you need to add Wilson's Prom <laughs> to your Victoria bucket list. Yes, let's go. Let's go. We're at the southern end of Victoria and we're at a place called Wilson's Promenade. Promenade. <laughs> and then we're off to do another hike, Mount O'Brien. It's Oberon. <laughs> Mount Oberon. You're the best. Oh, nearly there. I forgot how hiking is hard. Em's angry at me because I ate all the muesli bars. It's not dark, it's just for the B roll. Yeah, I could go pretzel right now. <laughs> what have we got out here? Where's this racket coming from? <laughs> what is Rob on my for parking the, this for morning? The time. Oh. Not funny. Let's go for a swim. Not bad parking. Squeaky beach. <laughs> this is the path to the next beach. Welcome back to the channel. So we've made it to Victoria and we're at a place called Wilson's Promenade and we're going to be here for a couple of days and the weather is absolutely spectacular at the moment. There's no clouds it's in so the sky, um, which is pretty rare for Melbourne, especially this time of the year. So we're not in summer anymore, but we've got some awesome things still around here. We, um, we're going to go do some hikes, we're going to go hit the beaches, we're going to check it all out. Um, it's an awesome place, National Park. It's absolutely stunning. We didn't even really know about it. So no. a friend told us. Yeah, yeah. Let's go for a swim. Let's do it. I'm going to say this through this whole video. This is what this video is about. <laughs> this video is about we did not expect this in Victoria, nah. in Melbourne. No, nah, not at, at all. all. I had no idea. No. Nah. I and didn't know, yeah. If you're watching this, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> But also don't forget to visit Wilson's Prom because you will not be disappointed. Wow, we are at the top of Mount Bishop here at Wilson's Prom, southern end of Victoria. And I can tell you now that this is crazy. How nice is this, Em? It's so beautiful. So I, this I is... didn't realise how beautiful Victoria Oh, was. I know. Yeah, I'm so glad we got out of Melbourne. Yeah. So there's two hikes you can do here. The main one is Mount Oberon, and then this is Mount Bishop. The reason why we came here is because it was less crowded too. We, <laughs> we didn't have much time, so we just literally ran up. Well, actually, we thought this was the shortest one, and then when we got here, we were like, oh, it's this actually one's longer. the longer one, but it's it was easy. It's not higher, but it is longer. Um, but look at this. So you've got all the hues. Um, in the background here of the sunset, such a beautiful day, pink, purple, yellow, it's so nice. And then you've got these massive boulders that just jut out of the forest. And then you've got the ocean, white sandy beaches. It's like pretty much kind of like Tassie, um, but it looks a little bit different. Or Albany in WA. Yeah, but the mountains are just a bit higher. And then you've got all these islands as well. We're the only ones up here. We passed a few people as we were coming up, they were going down, but they missed out because I reckon this is the best time of the day to be here. Don't you reckon? Yeah. Wow. Um, beautiful beaches around here. Uh, yeah, so we'll show you guys more what we get up to... Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow we we'll Good morning, guys. Another beautiful morning here at Wilson's Prom. So last night we did the hike and then this morning we've woken up and we've first driven down to a spot here called Fairy Cove. It's about an hour walk and then you're awarded with these beautiful views. You've got a very nice cove here surrounded by rocks and then just on the other side there's like a nice little beach. So the water is a bit chilly. <laughs> Almost as cold as Tassie, maybe even it feels a little bit cooler, <laughs> but it's so refreshing. And now we're going to go for a walk to the other side, check out the beach and yeah, just enjoy being down here. It's, it's just, there's so much to see, so many hikes, so many beaches and bays. Excited to show you guys more. So here at Fairy Cove, you've got so much sand and it's so hard, but I'm pretty sure it's like real tidal. So it's like low tide 
at the moment. That's why there's so much sand, but the tide comes all the way in. I'd say it goes all the way over to these rocks all the way out here. So yeah, this whole place fills up, which is really cool. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see what it's like here when it's uh, high tide. Wonder if you could actually jump off these rocks into the water. Who knows? Anyway, we're gonna head off and we're gonna go do some more exploring and go see some more beaches. So to get here, you gotta hike actually, and it takes about, oh, I don't know, just a bit under an hour, maybe 45 minutes to hike here. Pretty easy, it's just like a walk from the car park. So it's not that easily accessible. You have to walk here. This is the the big daddy. So we did like the, the little sister yesterday, Mount Bishop, and then today's the big dad, the big dog, Mount Oberon, which is technically probably like a hill compared to other mountains. It's supposed to be really cool, um, really cool views of the ocean and like the surrounding sort of like forests and mountains and stuff. As you can see, we are not the only ones doing the hike. Might be a spare car park. <laughs> Wow, we found a spare car park. Oh, Would you no. believe it? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a small... What's down here? Oh, there might be one there. There's one there? Yeah. It's Oberon. <laughs> Mount Oberon. Oh, nearly there. <sighs> this one's a bit easier than Mount Bishop because it's like a hard rock road, whereas Mount Bishop was more of a path and a little bit more rocks than that where you could slip but I mean I haven't made it to the top yet it could probably escalate real bad oh, feel the burn I forgot how hiking is hard oh almost there oh god I'm sweating now but uh yeah we're just in time for sunrise sunset I need some food <laughs> Em was angry at me because I ate all the muesli bars. But, I'll show you guys what it looks like just after this rock here. Oh, so good. Whew, all right, let's go. sunset here yeah. in Wilson's Prom but this place is so nice all these like islands um, off the water here and then now the sky is turning like purple and wow. pink wow this is like right up there with some of the nicest places in Australia it's beautiful it's so nice <laughs> on this adventure this evening we've had a wonderful time showing you guys and we will catch you guys tomorrow if we don't film any more stuff tonight some neighbors what have we got out here where's this racket coming from <laughs> so this is the campsite here at Wilson's prom but for an unpowered site it's $33 but you also have hot showers and toilets and kitchen over here so I think it's worth it especially because you're in a national park there's not many options good morning guys so we're going to leave this campsite um, and we're going to go to the beach. 
there's heaps more exploring to do. There's heaps of beaches that we want to go and see. Um, so we're just gonna not waste the day and go to the beach. Who's driving? Squeaky beach. Off the squeaky beach. The sand is like silica. Tell. It's real fine. Um, we have the same over in Esperance in WA and some other beaches. Real hard sand, real compact, real shiny. Looks like crystals. Um, but yeah, squeaky beach. Let's go check it out. Let's go for a swim. Not bad parking. Only took me 10 times. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Oh gosh, I hope the water's not that cold. <laughs> it's squeaky. It is squeaking. Oh, I can hear it. That's where it gets the same. This is a really nice beach. You. It's probably more suited for people that either have like a surfboard or a boogie yeah. board. So it's pretty far, It's to, to get like waist yeah. deep, it's pretty far, I and then you've got to go over them waves. I mean, if it was calm, it'd be like a perfect swimming beach, but I want to swim somewhere where there's no waves, because I'll have to go out there to really, you know, yeah. swim. So tell everyone where we're going to go. But we're going to walk around. There is a coastal track. Check this out. I'll tell you right. what, this is my favorite beach. Hell yeah, we're going for a swim. We have found a beach that hasn't got crazy waves and you don't need to walk out like hundreds of meters to get to. Um, yeah, and there's like heaps of rock pools here, so it looks really cool. You should see this, this is so nice. We're the only ones here. We found like a little track that was covered by the bushes, so I don't think it gets used too often, but we've made it down to this amazing spot. And we're gonna finally go for a swim because we haven't been for a swim yet today. And just around here, we're gonna climb the rocks and there's some nice little rock pools in there. Go for a swim, jump off some rocks. And we're the only ones here. Little bit of BDS, Emily getting some shots. On our last night, we've come to the Whiskey Bay and Picnic Bay Lookout. And on one side is Picnic Bay and on the other side is Whiskey Bay. So we have views of both bays, which is really nice. And also it's sunset. But we'll show you guys the bays. We'll zoom in and show you guys the bays. It's so nice. Nice way to spend the afternoon. We've got some wine too, so we can have some yeah. wine as well. <laughs> So that brings us to the end of our adventure here in Wilson's Promontory. <laughs> Finally got it right in the end, but that was so epic, hey? Oh, we had such a good time. I know, we got really lucky with the weather and we're swimming and it's just beautiful. Oh, so it's amazing. if you visit Melbourne, it's definitely worth making the drive down here to Wilson's Prom. 100%. Uh, so if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and Hit also- that notification bell. Yep. to be uh, notified on our next videos. Yeah, and well, in talking about the next video, we're heading to the Blue Mountains in New South Wales. We're so. heading north.